In Health Watch, some good news for the many women who can't get a reliable result from a mammogram. Their problem is dense tissue, which can hide possible cancers on a mammogram. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here to tell us there's a new technology that can help to find those kinds of cancers. Dr. Now, you know, mammography is still the life-saving gold standard for breast cancer detection. But for the 40% of women in the U.S. who have dense breasts, mammograms are less than perfect. Now doctors are testing a new ultrasound and water device that could give women peace of mind. Relax this time. Stacy Herkert has a family history of breast cancer, so she makes sure to get a mammogram every year. When my mom was diagnosed, she made us promise that we would go annually for checkups, and, and we do. Just like many women, the 54-year-old has dense breast tissue, which can make screening for breast cancer challenging. Women with dense breast tissue have more white glandular tissue on the mammogram, so the background appears white. The problem is, breast cancer also appears white. Down the center. Stacy is taking part in a study at the University of Southern California, testing a new three-dimensional ultrasound called soft view to try to help doctors more accurately identify cancer tissue. The patient lies on their stomach and the breast is placed into a warm water bath. First, a gentle suction device aligns the breast. Then a ring-shaped ultrasound images the entire breast in just two to four minutes. The machine measures three different ways the sound waves are altered by breast tissue. There's no radiation exposure and there's no compression of the breast. Researchers are looking to enroll 10,000 women for the study at eight sites across the country, from Miami to Pittsburgh, Michigan, North Carolina, Wisconsin, Georgia, and here at USC. Researchers are comparing patients' mammography results to the soft view scans to determine the machine's accuracy and sensitivity in detecting breast tumors. There's no exam that's 100%, but we want to be as close to 100% as possible. Now, the goal of the study is not to replace mammograms at this point, but to show that it could be a valuable addition to mammograms, especially for women with dense breasts. Once a study evaluates 10,000 women, it will be submitted to the FDA for approval of the soft view device. And one big advantage here is there's none of that uncomfortable compression mm. that you get with mammography, so yeah. it's much more comfortable. It's not a pleasant experience. Well, I couldn't speak to that, but that's what I'm told. <laughs> well, I could. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Max. It is a, it's a good option. It sounds promising. You